I'm Dr. Frida and it's back. COVID is back. So here are five things you need to know about the variants, EG.5, FL.1.5.1, and BA.2.86. One, EG.5 became the dominant variant this past summer, and the second dominant variant became FL.1.5.1. Both EG.5 and FL.1.5.1 are subvariants of Omicron, and specifically, they are descendants of the XBB variant lineage. Number two, both EG.5 and FL.1.5.1 share a common mutation of the spike protein, which is believed to make them more transmissible or more contagious. But at this point, there's no evidence to suggest that they are more virulent or more deadly. Three, given that 97% of the U.S. population has either been vaccinated against or has had the previous infections, it's believed that our population immunity and the antibodies that we have will give us some protection against these variants. Four, tests. Our tests are believed to still work to pick up EG.5 and FL.1.5.1. Also, the latest boosters, even though they don't contain these new variants, they do contain the XBB variant strains, and it's believed that that will also offer some protection for these two new variants. Five, BA.2.86. Now this one is something different. It is a highly mutated variant and it's a descendant of BA2 and it is radically different from any other variant we've seen. Now at this point, it is still less than 1% accountable for the cases. And so it's really early for us to figure out what's going on exactly. But some preliminary testing shows that we may have some immunity against it and it might not be evading the immune system as much as we thought. But as you know, science is ever evolving. So follow me and I'll keep you posted.